Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Hats and Guitars. Today we're going to talk about a pretty popular subject that I've gotten a lot of requests for. What is the difference between the Stetson Open Road, the 6X, the Royal Deluxe, the Stradaliner, the Stradaliner Premier, Stradaliner SE? What's the difference between these hats? Which one do I want? And what's the deal? Okay, we're going to talk about the open road first. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the open road. Now, when I started working at JJ Hat Center at uh, 1994, uh, the open road, a lot of it, uh, a lot of them were sold to older men, you know, 60, 70, 80 year old guys who liked the Western thing, but just didn't want to overdo it. And it was somewhat of a dress Western, something that you could wear, I don't know, to church or wear it here or there. It looks, uh, you know, dressy, but it doesn't look overly cowboy or too costume-like, especially for an older man. Um, recently, it's become an incredible fashion item, very, very popular with guys, young guys, every age, gals, uh, everybody loves the open road. It's an incredibly popular hat in the city, the country, the suburbs, everywhere in between. The classic model is called the 6X. The 6X is primarily a rabbit fur. Uh, these days it's a little bit thinner, yet stiff. It's a very stiff hat, but it's very thin, and there's not too much of a, of a flange on the hat. In other words, the snap on the brim is very, very subtle. I'd say it's closer to that first picture, not so much here. This uh, looks like it has a really nice curve to it. Um, I'd say uh, most of the 6Xs have a little bit of a, uh, a flatter flange to it, which most people seem to be okay with, but uh, don't expect to break the brim. It's more of an, of an up kind of a thing. And um, the specs are pretty um, self-explanatory. Um, it's in what they call Stetson's Classic Collection. Okay, they call it soft beaver fur blend, uh, but it's, it's really rabbit felt. There might be a pinch of beaver in there, I don't know. Uh, it has a six line grosgrain band, which is that thin open road stratoliner width. It's about the width of a pencil, the ribbon band. It also has a bound edge on the brim, about the same width. Uh, the quality is 6X quality. As I said, it's very thin yet stiff. Uh, I don't recommend these so much for rain, and I don't recommend steaming them. No rain, no snow, no steam, you'll be fine. It's a two and three quarter inch brim. Remember that, um, two and three quarter. That's the width of the brim on this hat. It's a four inch crown, it's a low crown, and comes with a hat box. So remember that's a two and three quarter inch brim. Now the gray one you're looking at right here, this is the Royal Deluxe version. The Royal Deluxe has the exact same specifications everywhere. The only difference is instead of using that very stiff yet thin Western felt, uh, which is in that 6X quality, the open road felt is a little bit softer and nicer in the Royal Deluxe. What they're doing is they're taking the same dress felt, the stuff that they use for their whippets, their temples, their Saxons, their Ashers, Morgans, all the fedora felt. Um, they're using it on the open road, so it's slightly softer. It's not like night and day. They're not totally different, but the felt is a little bit better. Um, it's less problematic. Uh, I don't really recommend steaming either of them, either open roads. Uh, I don't recommend wearing them in rain or snow. But uh, other than that, you'll be fine. Um, the Royal Deluxe does not come with an X uh, rating. Only Western Hats does do that. But it is their um, one of their higher, higher up uh, qualities as far as dress felt goes. They have you know all different types of uh, series, Deluxe Series, Sovereign Series, and Royal Deluxe is one of the highest. There's actually only one that's higher than that, and it's stuff like Pure Beaver. Um, you can actually get uh, the, the open road in what they call the Pure series now, although there's not a lot of them out there. They're not very easy to get. Uh, it's available in a Pure Beaver felt too. The Royal Deluxe and the Pure series are 
both uh, in response to the felt getting a little thin and a little stiff. So these are kind of like slight upgrades in the felt. Um, and, and they look exactly the same. They all look the same. Next, I want to talk about the Premier Stratoliner. Okay, now remember the Premier Stratoliner is totally different from the Stratoliner. These are two different hats. Most people, when they want a Stratoliner, they just want the Stratoliner, the Stratoliner Fedora or the Stratoliner SE, which is special edition, basically is a regular Stratoliner that just has uh, some cool colors, some interesting color combinations that they, they brought in. Stratoliner or Stratoliner SE is your plain old Strat. Now this one in front of you on the screen is a Stratoliner Premier. It's a specialty hat. This is the hat for vintage enthusiasts, people who want that big, tall, boxy crown, guys who are looking at stuff like the Borsellino film or the Stetson Stetsoni and then all those hats that, you know, are hard to get now. This is the hat. This is the better hat. It has the perfect dimensions for a vintage purist or a vintage enthusiast. The only thing is it has a thin band, which can be changed. You can upgrade it to a wide ribbon if that's your thing. Okay, um, when you shape this up, it's always going to have a higher crown. There's just really no way to give this a tapered low crown. As you can see here, it's a big tall crown. If you give it a center crease, a lot of times it's too, too tall for most people. So a lot of people tend to, um, well at least me as a hat uh, guy, what I like to do is take my premieres and teardrop them. So I take the back of the hat, the part that's on the right there, and I lower it down into a nice teardrop, neaten it up, and I leave the front of the hat by the pinch on the left there. I leave that nice and high. So we've got a high pinch, big, low, jaunty, like teardrop going down low in the back. So this is a hat you've seen, you're seeing it here, um, center crease, just so you can get an idea of how high it is. It's a wide, boxy crown. It's not tapered and it's very high. So if you're looking for, you know, to take this hat and make it look like a low regular Stratoliner, it's gonna be a challenge. It'll never look the same. You could get it the same height as a lower regular Stratoliner, but it'll always be wider, boxier, and more vintage looking. So it's a baggy, baggy crown. Um, hard to really see it here, but um, the width of the crown is big. So the teardrop is just wide and baggy and more authentic like in those old movies. Um, the Premier Stratoliner has a two and a half inch brim. It's got binding on the brim. Here you go. Here's the teardrop. Now it looks really beautiful like that. But again, that's a big tall crown. Okay, so you've got a two and a half inch brim, which is smaller than the open road. So if you like the open road, the open road's going to look more Western with its bigger brim. This is going to look more like a dress hat because it has a shorter brim, two and a half inches, just like a temple or a whippet or something. Um, two and three quarters like the open road is going to look much more Western. So this is just like an open road, but um, it comes with an open crown. So you have the choice of giving a cattleman's crease, a teardrop, a center crease, or nothing. You could just shape it with your hands whenever you want but the specs are two and a half inch brim um and a higher crown that's a five and a half inch open crown comes with the six line band stratoliner uh aircraft pin you know like a fake like metal aircraft pin there and uh two and a half inch bound brim with the um uh, five and a half inch open crown that's an incredibly high crown most crowns you're looking at are about four, um, and this isn't even a five. This is a five and a half. So yes, you can lower it, but it's always going to look baggy, vintagey, blocky. And if you're the person who does not like high crowns, you'll always be fighting with this. It's always going to look high to you. What you want to get is the next hat, the regular Stratoliner or the Stratoliner Special Edition SE.
Okay, this is a fan favorite, the Stratoliner Fedora, or the Stratoliner, also known as the Stratoliner SE or Stratoliner Special Edition. They're all the same. Now, this is essentially just a uh, fedora with a western band and uh, a teardrop. It doesn't have a special crown, doesn't have special western felt. Now, where there's really nothing western about this hat, except for the fact that the it has that sort of ribbon band, that thin western band, which is sporty. And, uh, you know, a teardrop is kind of an earthy, outdoorsy kind of a thing. So what you got here, um, it's very similar to the last hat, the uh, Premier, except this one has a regular old low teardrop crown. Okay, the crown is a four and a half inch. Okay, the brim again, two and a half inch. So both straddleliners are two and a half inch. And the open road was two and three quarter inch. So these are handmade in Garland, Texas. Uh, teardrop crown, six line grow grain hat band. A uh, special edition hat pin with the aircraft on it. Um, uh, leather sweatband, satin lining, bound edge, brim two and a half, crown four and a half. So this is the regular strat. This is the one that's got the low crown. It's uh, accessible. It's not like a specialty vintage hat or high crown, some kind of a Humphrey Bogart specialty thing. It's the regular old Stratoliner, which is probably Stetson's most popular hat. Uh, the Stratoliner and the Open Road, I'm going to say, are probably equal. Uh, you can almost sell as much of them as we can get. You know, if we were able to get a uh, hundred dozen of them, we would sell them all. But uh, Stetson runs out of them and they're hard to get. So uh, yeah, these are incredibly hard to get right now during the pandemic. They have not been shipping any of them. There's no silver belly at all and there's no Western hats. So um, we're hoping that will come soon. But it's good to know all the specs on these three hats. These are the three most requested hats I get asked about. And I think everything is really here. The only thing is the special edition and the regular Stratoline or the one we're looking at here is a little bit thinner and a lighter hat. It's light, so no rain, no steam.